On this day in Southern labor history, the Taft-Hartley Act was passed in 1947. During World War II, the production of wartime goods and supplies was crucial for the war effort. To keep the economy moving, the U.S. government created a deal between labor unions and employers. If employers only hired union members, then unions would refrain from striking and slowing down production. With union leaders unwilling to strike and rising inflation from the transition from wartime to peacetime, workers were left in a tough spot. How would they win the higher wages and better working conditions they deserved in this current post-war arrangement? The Wildcat Strike A Wildcat Strike is an action taken on by union workers without the support of union leadership. These tactics, among others, led to a strike wave of nearly 5 million workers across different industries that sent corporate bosses scrambling for backup from the government. In the aftermath of the strike wave, Congress overriding the veto of then-President Harry Truman passed the Taft-Hartley Act. Taft-Hartley outlawed many tactics like wildcat strikes. Taft-Hartley would also ultimately usher in the era of states passing so-called right-to-work laws. Taft-Hartley was a reaction to the power of working people organizing and demanding what they deserve. Looking back on this moment in labor history, it's easy to see how Taft-Hartley hurt the labor movement in the U.S., but it also shows how much power workers have. Wealthy business owners were so scared of worker power, they literally had to rig the system so they could win.